Orlando Brown just dropped some seriously sickening footage showing rituals that Hollywood higher-ups allegedly force young actors to participate in. So you got Panda is, really. a Panda is a secret code for um, a certain thing. Um, and so when it comes down to that certain thing, is, uh, you basically have a certain nerve in your rectum. And if you touch that nerve, you can turn a person into an animal. You can turn a person into whatever you want them to be if you just hold them down. So pretty much when you see black eyes like uh, Blueface and, you know, like that, he got beat up, but he didn't get beat up where you thought he got beat up. He got beat up somewhere else. OK, and so uh, the eyes come out and they call them panda eyes and they do this to so you see people with these cigars and they're, they, you know, all these big celebrities, they all have the cigar in common. That, that, that's that big thing between their legs that they're sticking in. And it's one big society. Thing, I mean, yo, Diddy, you gave me the Ushka Skushmash. You gave me the Ushka Smoop, the Smoosmash. Diddy, yeah, son, I mean. Casting couch that existed in Hollywood is the part of both myth and concrete reality. Any place there's a boss with underlings in any <clears throat> corporation or any industry, you have a type of sexual politics that goes on that can slide in between uh, appropriate ethics and, and decorum to, uh, let's see, inappropriate behavior to the point of harassment and, and uh, sexual predators. It is absolutely sick. First time it really hit me was at Seth's. Seth. <laughs> Seth turned to me and opened up the secret bookshelf and he's like, this is where we keep the children. And uh, I was like, I tried to just put it out of my mind. Uh, but then about a month later, he basically, basically admitted that he's a pedophile. Did I lie about Seth Green? No, Seth Green's a pedophile. Steven Spielberg is a pedophile. Oh, I'm not going to talk about Tom Hanks either, who is also a pedophile. Tom Hanks, folks, is a pedophile. There's this girl, Sarah uh, Ruth Ashcraft, on Twitter, who has been accusing Tom Hanks of raping her when she was 13. Tom fucking Hanks, guys. Pedophile. In this industry, what you must understand is when you do sell your soul, you are allowed to live forever. Mm. And these people that are called youngins, rookies, new booties, I was. Oh, I did that these people still live. Mm. They will pray, haunt, kidnap, anything to stay on top. This is their world. They have nothing but time is what they do. There are gay people, but what we're talking about here is ritualistic sexual deviancy used to harness energy of a G. This is what Kim found out. She found out exactly what. So you probably remember Orlando Brown from his role in That's So Raven. He had such a promising future ahead of him, but then Something happened, and Orlando hasn't been the same since. Guns are for You see, Jay, you got a cool little homie here. And when you left, Nelson brought the gun to me and told me to take it to the police station and turn it in. What? You're gonna shoot me? I don't know what I was gonna do. But I ain't gonna let you punch me like you punch little flunkies. <laughs> Cooper! Ops. Guns are for punks. You see, Jay? You got a cool little homie here. And when you left, Nelson brought the gun to me and told me to take it to the police station and turn it in. What? You're gonna shoot me? I don't know what I was gonna do. But I ain't gonna let you punk me like you punk your little flunkies. <laughs> Cooper! Ops. Guns are for punks. 
Orlando has had his fair share of struggles with mental health and substance use over the years, and it all reportedly stems from his traumatic experiences as a young Disney star. These days, people often brush off everything Orlando says as crazy talk. However, with the recent allegations about Diddy and other rumored Hollywood deviants coming to light, fans are beginning to see Orlando's behavior and his comments about the entertainment industry in a whole different light. And it's one big society of it. Now, when it comes down to the selling of the there is shipping and trafficking and people, adults, the moms, the dads, right there on Target commercials, right there on Walmart commercials. And you're looking at the people that are missing and they're smiling like they're happy, but they're going back to hell. And that's really what it is. You know, um, these are actually adults. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein created this saga and this is what he is great at doing. He's great at kidnapping someone, turning them into a putting them in a dead celebrity's body and screwing the life out of them after he makes a ton of money off of their ass on his private little beach. So you have a private little beach full of celebrities and bodies getting screwed and nobody cares because they're to give you some background orlando made his entry into acting at a very young age debuting alongside damon wayans in major pain by the early 2000s he was one of the most familiar faces on disney juggling three disney shows at once the proud family fillmore and the iconic that's so raven that's so raven was an instant hit and made history as the first disney series to reach the coveted 100 episode mark however when the cast started growing up disney decided to call it quits in November 2007, and that was a turning point for Orlando. It was like the moment he stepped away from the Disney spotlight, everything went downhill. Show me your hands! I don't have a word, sir. What's your name? Sir, what's the problem? What's your name? What have I done, sir? What is your name? What is all of this? State your name. State your name. Sir, what is this? State your name. I'm I won't tell you until you tell me your name. Sir, what is this? Okay, fine. You won't tell me your name. Everyone knows you. You got a warrant for your arrest. Can I put on my drill, sir? I don't, what, what is this? You know, I was banging for my goddamn door. What is this? You guys talk to me, man. This is not cool. I just talked to the police. I just talked to the police. I just talked to the police. You talked to the police? I talked to the police. You speak. Well, obviously, the police uh, didn't talk to you, right? You're warrant. Yes, sir. Out of LA County. Okay. You got a possession. You have a PC 148, PC 243, and you have a HS 11377A PC. Bro! So at the end of the day, you have some warrants. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. So at the end of the day, you have these warrants you're picked up. This is why you're going back to LA County. Okay, thank you. Okay. In my underwear, bro. What's your name? Sir. You tell me now. We're gonna go ahead and f fill. This was. Here's the deal. This is disrespectful. You left. This Listen to me, you. F you left California. It's a felony when you flee. I didn't flee. When you, what, what are you doing here, then, brother? You got a I'm warrant for your arrest. I'm working. You're fucking. Look, my my right over there. I called the. Look at this circus clown. Whole blood. Go ahead. We're from them on the corner. Suck me out! Suck this Look at this dirty out. ass feet. Yep. This Suck bum me ass up. nigga. Try to get this nigga some love. He wants shit. Yep. Now I know why he ain't got no family. What? Get the fuck away from here, nigga. I got God! You better get away from my house where you get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Not out for calling God. Bro, I'm chilling, bro. Get away from my house, yo. I'm away from your house. Hit me. I'm away. I'm off your if property. If you come back over, I'm going to knock you the f I'm off your property. You wait over here for the police. I'm off your property. You don't come back to my and house. Jesus. I'm four years sober for a reason. I just now got out of rehab. I just now got out of an ER. I just got out of, I'm not doing no more time away from my kids other than I need you. How long has it been since you've seen these kids? Bro, honestly, I just see my kids everywhere. But at the end of the day, like I said, I barely don't. I barely see them. I don't know them. They don't know me. Doing your job, I'm making your
Everybody enjoy your night. I'm sorry for fucking up your shit. Man. My name is Orlando Brown. I am Satan and Lucifer's son. Fuck everybody. <laughs> dreams come true so to speak so what I want to do right now is I want to give you guys not only yes Jackson baby and, and, and it's more like it's there's no he he this time <laughs> thank you bless you make you now notice that there is a lot of love Swiss my nigga boo Y'all ain't got no Come 45s from Swiss Mullet Booze. I go with the old English. Regina King is the shit. She's like, Y'all ain't got no old English. Y'all ain't got no old English. So, what happened to Orlando? How did he go from a promising, talented young actor full of life to this? Well, here's where things take a darker turn. Over the past few years, Orlando has appeared in a series of viral interviews and made some shocking allegations about rumored Hollywood rituals and the presence of high-profile deviants in the entertainment industry. Yeah, like, there's a lot of things that will make you buckle, bro. They make you buckle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, they make you start crying. Like, you know what I'm saying? What people do, like, it's not no glory to be talking about. It's really, right. high, it's really Hollywood. It's really up out there. It's really up bad. And like you just you like, I was just listening to that man's album. His star is on the floor and just sitting right here. Like you, unless you're not intoxicated unless you're just you know you have to be really in tune with life and just notice bone structure skin eye color everything you have to be in tune and you'll be able to see it it'll manifest itself right in front of you you know what i'm saying but just for me to be sitting here and being like nah nah because man people don't lost their families bro people don't lost their kids and shit people don't, people uh, people um a lot of stuff oh you ever heard of uh panda like I was telling you, pa panda. So you got panda Not is a really. panda is a secret code for um, a certain thing. Um, and so when it comes down to that certain thing, um, it's so what it is is uh, you basically have a certain nerve in your rectum, and if you touch that nerve, you can turn a person into an animal. You can turn a person into whatever you want them to be if you just hold them down. So. Pretty much, when you see black eyes, like uh, Blueface and you know shit like that, he got beat up, but he didn't get beat up where you thought he got beat up. He got beat up somewhere else, okay? And so uh, the eyes come out and they call them panda eyes. And they do this to, so you see people with these cigars and they're, they, you know, all these big celebrities, they all have the cigar in common. That, that, that's that big ass thing between their legs that they're sticking in. And it's one big society of it. Now, when it comes down to the selling of the, they're shipping and trafficking and people, adults, the moms, the dads, right there on Target commercials, right there on Walmart commercials. And you're looking at the people that are missing and they're smiling like they're happy, but they're going back to hell. And that's really what it is. You know, um, these are actually adults. Uh, Jeffrey Epstein created this saga and this is what he is great at doing. He's great at kidnapping someone, turning them into a putting them in a dead celebrity's body and screwing the life out of them after he makes a ton of money off of their ass on his private little beach. So you have a private little beach full of celebrities and 
bodies getting screwed and nobody cares because they're supposed to be dead. And this has been a major market, a major market that he tried to blame on Oprah Winfrey. So, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that's what I feel about that. And, and uh, this panda eye thing is, you know, the panda, 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 all that stuff is just, is so real. You know, you want to go get fucked by Shaba until your eyes pop out, go ahead. I mean, that's up to you. But, uh, you know, I just think that, you know, people just need to realize what they're looking at when they're watching the television. Everything is right in front of you. The revolution was televised and don't nobody. We could do whatever we wanted to do. We just had to be respectful. And that's with everything, you know, um, with the media training, with people that you don't know that run up on you, you know, uh, with cars that you walk up to because their kids in the car, you know, people people shoot people with their kids in the car. And I'm talking about shooting celebrities. You know, hey, could you, hey, hey, you know, like, you just gotta be careful and be respectful. Um, you can do like, you can do whatever you want. Sign, so when you sign the, to the mouse, man. Um, and then once you sign to the mouse, it's a forever thing, you know. Um, yeah, if I said, do they like, hit you yeah, up it's like a, the yeah, it's anniversaries? A, and well, no, because I was a bad, I've been bad. So, um, but they would hit you up if, if you want. Oh, yeah, well, that was in the, I mean, I've been doing a lot of good now, so uh, you never know what might happen. But um, I wasn't in the right mind back then to, um, to even possibly even be thought of uh, uh, to be on the show or be around Ray or be around myself. Even. Well, a lot of child stars grow up to be kind of messed up. They have a lot of problems sometimes, man. You know, alcohol, drugs, depression. You know, uh, how hard is it for a person growing up in the spotlight and then they get to be an adult? You know what I'm saying? Like, how how hard is that, that life right there? Well, the thing about it is, it's not even about the life. See, we have all gone through what we don't know um, is, uh, what, what we don't know is we've all gone through this experiment and it's kind of trippy, right? So, so they have your parents, you, okay, you get, a baby by your parents and then the parents right that you don't know is your parents has been they take the disappear when they disappear you're supposed to go ape shit crazy it's called mk ultra this is what we've all been going through and we are all just waking up from so you can't blame the parents because it's a, it's a science experiment. They're just trying to do, they had to do to get out of poverty, make sure your little ass is straight. But at the same time, now they don't look like themselves anymore. Now they're free to do whatever the f they want and they have to see this out, right? Yeah, that's what that's what this is. And, and it's more like, you know, if you don't know where you're, is, you're smoking this if you don't know what's happened with your wife and where she is you're doing that you're doing this if you don't know how to identify these demons the eye colors and all this shit you know if you don't know leviathan but belphegor if you don't know satan if you don't know lucifer if you don't know what you're talking about and how they're coming if you don't know how to identify it then you start smoking all kinds of shit and drinking and getting off up because you can't see it now before you dismiss orlando keep in mind that he's not the first one to talk about all this as you might remember corey feldman tried to warn us about the same thing i'm saying that there are people that were the people that did this to both me and corey yeah. that are still working they're still out there and they're some of the richest most powerful people in this business and they are and they do not want me saying what i'm saying right now are you saying that they're pedophiles yes and that yes. they're still in this business i never once said that they're all famous VPs, they're all executives. It's not like that. These are lower be. level guys. Do they have access to children? Yes. Corey. And these are lower level guys. Now, I've done, well, one of them I've already named. The one, that, the one that I know that has access to children right now, I already named. It's in my book, and they didn't make me change it because he had already been arrested for pedophilia. So I've mentioned that name, it's out there. The name is Marty. This guy on his MySpace page and his Facebook page has got pictures of me and Corey Haim. 
You're kidding. No, he still taunts it. There are thousands of people out there, Matt, who have this information. Any one of those child actors that went to the teenage soda pop clubs with me when I was a kid know who those people are and the people who ran it. Anybody can go back through history and look at the team magazines and say, what was the name of that venue they were all promoting and who ran that venue? And who in Corey then took it a step further, claiming there's a massive cover-up operation happening in Hollywood. He even pointed fingers at the police, suggesting they protect these shady characters in the industry. Back in 2018, Corey dropped a bombshell, claiming the LAPD was trying to frame him for a crime he had absolutely no involvement in, allegedly in an attempt to silence his efforts to expose the powerful figures lurking in the entertainment world. And here's where it gets even more intense. Just before Corey's arrest, he was reportedly on the brink of releasing police tapes from way back in 1993. These tapes supposedly contain the names of several high-profile members who are part of this rumored elite Hollywood group, and if these recordings do exist, then the time of Corey's arrest is suspicious, to say the least. But you see, by the time Corey started revealing all this, the media had already portrayed him so negatively that most people brushed off his claims, labeling him as crazy and accusing him of seeking attention. And sadly, we're seeing the same thing happening to Orlando Brown. However, people are now wondering if Orlando might have been hinting at something much darker, possibly indicating he was a victim of some truly awful stuff when he was a young actor. 